So we've spent a lot of time on the test server as of late, and with that, we've been mainly looking at the big, ever-growing list of changes coming to the infantry game. And that list is still growing. Like, I seriously cannot keep up. But the infantry side of the game isn't the only thing getting some love this time around. The vehicles of Araxis are getting some new, shiny, Empire-specific versions of the Basilisk to run around with in the next update. Our Battle Sunder is going to become a thing again with the new faction Slayer. Let's talk. G'day there once again, viewers. Your mate Kamikaze78 here, and today we're going to take a look at some new vehicle weapons coming in the next major Planet Side 2 update. So, I'm not messing around today, let's talk about these new Basilisk weapons. Or, should I say, the M30 Trawler for the NC, the M18 Palisade for the TR, and the V42 Pariah for the VS. Now, as has been the case for this update, things have been changing incredibly quickly. Like seriously, I make a video about something on the test server, there's half a chance that a new patch drops that same day, changing the very thing we discussed. So, I want you guys to consider this a bit more of a preview video today, not a review. The only exposure I've had to these weapons so far has been rudimentary at best in the VR training room, shooting target dummies. Much like everything else we've discussed so far about this upcoming update. And I haven't really taken the liberty to do any extensive damage testing on these things yet because, well, quite frankly, the stats still aren't final. So consider this a nice and quick little first thoughts video. I'm gonna let my NC bias take a bit of a hold over me here, considering the TR and the VS stole the spotlight with our latest directive weapons video. I'm gonna start off by taking a look at the beefy boy that is the M30 trawler. And man oh man, does this this weapon hit like a goddamn truck. Right out of the gate, I've just got to paint a big old spotlight on the damage model of 450 maximum damage at 10 meters, dropping off to a minimum damage of 300 at 150 meters. Which, for those who aren't counting, translates to a three shot body kill all the way out to 118 meters. And with its accuracy that I'm sure you can see on screen now, engaging infantry beyond 50 to 60 meters is just going to be a no go. So, yeah, this is a three shot kill weapon at most effective ranges that you'll fight at with this weapon. I mean, okay, let me contextualize it a bit more for you. 450 maximum damage is actually the same damage that the NS44 Commissioner has. So yeah, the NC just got a full auto commissioner on their Sunderers. Now, before anyone starts sweating at the prospect of this thing having a headshot multiplier and two tapping regular infantry and just one tapping snipers within 10 meters, you don't have to worry about that. From what I can tell, all of these new Empire specific Basilisk weapons seem to be lacking a headshot multiplier, which I'm okay with. In my opinion, direct fire vehicle mounted AI weaponry shouldn't sport headshot multipliers in the first place, but that's just me. Anyway, the trawler, that being one trawler, the one that I was using, felt pretty solid to use. If you have two of these things being manned simultaneously on a Sunderer, or, lord behold, an entire Sunday armor column of these things running around, smacking armor and infantry around is going to be a bit of a fun time here. It has to be said, though, of the collection of new Empire-specific Basilisk weapons that are coming to the game, this one requires the most patience and the most trigger discipline. The slower rate of fire and the pretty major bloom, which, by the way, is identical to the standard Basilisk that this thing is replacing, means that missed shots are punished and the reduced muzzle velocity is going to make aircraft at any meaningful distance a little difficult to hit. I mean hell even infantry that are moving around at an extended distance are going to require some significant leading. But on the other hand if you do hit them they're going to know about it so you know as I said this is going to be the one Empire specific Basilisk weapon that's going to require the most amount of patience to use effectively in my opinion. And so we've confirmed the NC isn't getting another shotgun and that's nice at least but let's check out what could be described as the complete opposite approach the M18 Palisade available to the TR. This thing is a heavy machine gun that sports a slightly reduced damage output by comparison to the standard Basilisk that we're all used to sitting in at 200 damage at 10 meters dropping off to 167 damage at the 150 meter mark but has an amped rate of fire that accelerates over time as the trigger is held. Eventually it just caps out and keeps burting away. Releasing the trigger will reset the rate of fire and you'll need to spool the weapon up once again so it's essentially if the T7 mini chain gun was the little brother and the Vulcan was the big brother this was the middle child that took a bit of time to find their way in life. Now the in-game stats page reads a rate of fire of 411 rounds 
rounds per minute as the weapon's rate of fire. Whether that is the starting fire rate or the amped fire rate, I'm not too sure yet. Rel or any developer, if you happen to be watching this video and you want to impart some clarification on that, it would be great, my friend. But regardless, the TR's new weapon actually sports a buffed muzzle velocity against the default Basilisk, which is going to make it a bit more competent and engaging aircraft as per needed. It's no walker, but it's spades ahead of what the NC is getting, so that's nice. It also comes with the 100 round mag by default, which it's going to need considering that bursting the weapon is just out of the question. You're going to be doing a lot of spraying and praying as you shift between targets, so the more ammo you can get, the better. And considering the weapon is actively campaigning against you letting off the trigger, you'll be dealing with the bloomed cone of fire all the time. So engaging targets at longer distances where the inaccuracy is going to become more noticeable, let's just say it's going to feel like you're trying to impart death by a thousand paper cuts at distance on infantry. Your accuracy stats with this thing are going to be tanking as you use it, just a fair warning. Which leaves us moving on to the weird, just oh so weird spandex cat ear wearing Vanu. Sorry, it's been a while since I've taken a jab at the VS. I'm sure you'll understand. Their latest contraption comes in the form of the V42 Pariah, which takes on board a very very balanced approach. And I don't mean that in the sense that this is the most balanced weapon I've ever seen grace the game. No, I mean that it sort of has a bit of everything going for it and a bit of nothing going for it, if that makes sense. The Pariah sports 220 maximum damage and 143 minimum damage, making this the weakest weapon as far as raw damage output is concerned at distance. Where the Pariah crawls back is in the damage drop-off distances. The weapon's maximum damage range extends to 20 meters, which is nice out of the gate, and then the minimum damage extends all the way out to 314 meters. I gotta be honest with y'all, I don't think stuff even renders out that far shit. I don't think I've ever even scored a sniper rifle kill at that range before in this game. You'd have to start taking into consideration the curvature of the planet to start hitting targets at that distance. Okay, maybe a slight over exaggeration, but you get the point. The weapon will have a pretty consistent damage output over all effective ranges and, let's be honest, meaningful ranges you decide to pick a fight at. Now, we do have an improved magazine size and reload speed against the core basilisk, but the damage output is still a lot left to be desired here. Hell, I would have originally expected this weapon to have sported the best muzzle velocity across the basilisk options but the palisade actually beats it by 25 meters per second which shocked me the pariah is sadly the weapon that i'm the least excited for out of this bunch but maybe it'll be something that grows on me over time who knows if I'm remembering this correctly, and there's a strong chance that I'm not, the Pariah shares the same cone of fire statistics as all the other Basilisk versions that are now out there in the game. The Trawler, the Palisade, the Pariah, and the Standard Basilisk all have the same cone of fire stats. Maybe as a nudge in the right direction for the Pariah, it gets slightly buffed cone of fire stats for ongoing fire. Maybe as a bit of a trade-off for the lacking damage output. I don't know, just a suggestion, guys. Leave a comment down below, guys, on your thoughts on the new Empire-specific Basilisk weapons. Which is your favorite? Which are you most looking forward to? Which are you least looking forward to using on the battlefield? Would love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Backhand the like button if you enjoyed the video, guys. Just so you know, that dislike button still does work if you didn't like the video, so feel free to abuse that as well, should you wish to do so. And as always, if you're new here and like what you saw, be sure to hit subscribe so you can keep up to date with all future videos that we release here on the channel. And as always, if you want to go that extra step and continue supporting the channel further, consider a channel membership. Also goes a very long way in helping me out, guys. Once again, hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Take care. Have a good one.